seven niggas in my house in Atlanta try to fight for my love to be my boyfriend. But only one will make it to be my baby. We're sorry. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Do this. Vina. Chum chum. Go to the kitchen. <laughs> I do not understand a word you're saying. I would love for you to stay and for me to get to know you a little more. But I can't do that. <laughs> Vina. Yeah. I felt bad, but my decision was already made. I hope you find your boyfriend. <laughs> But I can't, I can't do this. He eliminated himself. Sorry, baby girl, but you're gonna have to go home. Okay. Outside my box. Here, the shit stays here, take it. Like that, listen. Bye, 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 I just thank you, Lord, for having me in this house. It has been a great opportunity for me. Apparently, I didn't find love with this dumb ass hoe. Kinda scary. Not gonna lie. You gotta go. Keep it a bug. You like you ain't trying to ride this baloney pony. <laughs> baloney pony. Nigga. Calm down. I'm sorry, and uh, we can be friends. I don't like any guy that's gonna hide his child from me. I don't think I can be with you right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta go. We are down to the final two guys that have really fought their way all the way up to this point to win my heart, to win my love. I'm not surprised that I made it this far. The chemistry that we have and the things we talk about, how funny she is, and we're always laughing when we're together, it's gonna be like a walk in the park. He is a man to me, physically, mentally, but something about him. I'm just like, what is your negative? First you kissed me, then you're loyal. Okay. And then I get to the phone and you got all these bitches in your phone. Some of them are friends, you're some disgusting. of them are business associates, some of them like, you know. Everybody has a negative. The competition has been fierce, man. It's been intense. A lot of challenges of roles, man. But the fact that I still remain to be, to be in the bottom two is a blessing. And I know that I have a real, real genuine chance at winning this on Simone's heart. When it comes to thug love, it just brings up a lot of concerns. How is he going to be in the bed? How is he going to deal with a woman that's in the public eye and super popular? How is he going to control his anger? I just really, really hope that we can figure this out before it's too late. I'm going to get both of them together, have a nice dinner before one of them has to leave my house. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Nice. Both the guys pull out my chair. I feel like a motherfucking princess. I can't wait to eat. You don't mind take my jacket off. I feel great. Go ahead. I, I don't want to be sweating. It's I'm already nervous. Muscles off, man. You know, I'm, I'm nervous. Right? Hey, he's trying he to show, show his you muscles up. off. That's all. I'm muscle. We know you have muscles. What's it going to be, baby? Muscle man or me? <laughs> That's not going to help you win the show. They look but, good, though. You know? I was, was going to let them borrow some. Why are you acting like that? I can't. I don't know about it. I need my T-shirt back. That's what I need. That's your t-shirt? Yeah, that's my t-shirt. I need that back. Well, how, look, if this your t-shirt, how your t-shirt still tight? Yo, uh, stop it. I'm here. I'm ready. Let's chop it up. How y'all uh, feeling? Uh, I feel kind of nervous. Because you could probably go Because huh? I could be going home. Yeah. The time is ticking down, and I know that this is going to be my very last chance to win B. Simone's heart. Invisalign, why should I choose you? Thug love, why should I choose you? I think tonight's dinner will really answer a lot of unknown questions. Good. You look so cute. I think you look even I didn't even know you had a tie in your wardrobe. I didn't. <laughs> Thank you. You went and got one just for yeah, the dinner? just for you. And you, Ms. Lyon, how do you feel? Do you Come think on. you're gonna win? I don't think I have any disadvantages. I think I should. Why do you think you should win? I feel like I got everything you need. Which is what? I feel like you need a gym. You got muscles. I feel like you need a man that knows how to take care of you. I feel like you need a man that knows what to do and when to do. And I just feel like he ain't it. I feel like you probably need somebody to tell him what to do. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and cut yeah, that. I'm gonna go ahead and let you keep thinking that, bro, because you don't know me. You ain't even been around with on me. She knows me. See, we've been in she this knows house. me. So me and Thug Love started getting into it. I've, I've seeing, had enough uh, time to talk to her. That's, that's cool, you bro. Guys, that's cool and all, bro, but I'm trying to tell you this, bro. Don't speak on me when you don't, don't know me, bro. Me in front Get a chance to know me. All the bickering and fighting and arguing starts. Hey, look, ask him do we know how to use the napkin. He's a real hater. You know that? 
Is it real hater, I'm not bro? asking him that question. Oh, okay, because I mean, we're going to go to the next restaurant. Or if y'all going to go to the next restaurant, he just made shit out of shit out your system, bro. When you don't get that crown today, bro. Yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. When you don't get that crown today, you're going to go home real sad. Real sad. That is not what this dinner is about. I'm walking away with her. This is not what this dinner is about. Sitting here thinking about these two guys, my biggest fear is that I'm choosing the wrong man. I do not have time to go through heartbreak again. I don't even know why he's still sitting here right now. But you know, I'm gonna win. Ain't no question about that. Why? I'm why in. should you win? I already got your heart. You believe you already have my heart? I do. Why? Because as long as I believe it happens, it's gonna come to me. The mystery. The I mystery. Gotta figure it out. Okay, let's get to it then. <laughs> so, um, that's what happens when you deal with crazy niggas. They make assumptions. My heart is too invested right now to lose B, so I have to do what I gotta do to make sure I can win it. You know what I'm saying? I know yeah, you ain't talking about juice crazy heads, with so just wanna ex. fucking work out all fucking day and fucking try to do That's this. my ex. That's not me. Talk this nigga about already crazy got niggas. Yeah, that's... That's crazy as hell. You're you know this nigga crazy, crazy man. This nigga crazy. Don't think I forgot who's crazy. about that. About what? Yeah, the crazy yeah, girlfriend ex. you got. Yeah, that stalks your house and all that old crazy bullshit. Hey, this nigga yeah. don't. Stop. Hey, look. I told okay. you. Okay. I'll this chill. nigga I'll say chill. he ain't ever had an ex. You believe that shit? You believe that shit? I don't know what I believe. Oh, I didn't even concern you though. I thought I was here for beat, not no, you. No, 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 because this is my lady. Okay, it's hold not your lady. We ain't won nothing yet, bro. So how have this show lady? All that, y'all could've did that in the house. We're trying to have a nice dinner so I can really try to vibe with you guys one last time before I choose my man. Can we do that? We can try. I just wanna get to know y'all okay. on the plate. Okay, okay. I'm ready to get in here and show her how much I love and care about her, and hopefully that'll be enough for her to make the best decision. Hey, look, I like those up there, man. You did yeah, them yourself no, or I your did. homeboy? I did. I'm just saying. You know, I like how long it took you to spray I, your hairline on? I like your little braids. Okay, look at me, don't look at him. I like your braids. Thank you, baby. I like your Beijing. Thank you. Stop it. Jesus. Oh, that was sweet. So what's that, like oh. French? Or like what? You know what, man? I ain't even going to let you know, man. I'm just asking I'm not question. doing that with you, then. I'm not doing that with you. All right. I'm good, how you doing, sweetie? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. I thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Can I get you guys anything? Andre? Um. Uh, not right this second. You just put your fingers on my straw. I try not to. But I you did. That's the kind of man you, you know. Want. Let me give you another one. You want a man that's gonna touch all over your stuff before you can have a chance to touch? I wash my hands before I got to it the table. Doesn't matter. You know something about that? Doesn't okay, matter. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I actually I'll do just, know about that. I'll drink off the cup. You sure? I'll okay, just drink off right, the cup. Um, Jesus. Clown, man. I think Thug Love lacks etiquette. I don't think you really know how to be a, a gentleman. You guys, seriously. Y'all are here for me. And how motherfucking good do I look? You good damn good. That's what I thought. So act like a fucking queen is sitting in your presence, nigga. And stop arguing. Damn. I'm not bad. stressing I you me out. I'm about to spit on my I've never seen you that <laughs> short. Listen, bro. Huh? Enough. Okay, you're right. Now, thinking about what we've been through these past couple days, it's been a lot. I honestly am emotional. I'm stressed. <clears throat> I even cried about it because I have to make the right decision for my life, for my future, <laughs> who I'm going to be with, and I don't know yet. I honestly don't know. And y'all aren't making it any better sitting here arguing. I can't just make a decision not knowing who's really here for me. I was trying to reason to kind of turn into an argument, you know. You got to control the anger. You know? Yeah, shut up. What my hair look like? It looks good, baby. Right. Okay. Stop making good. excuses. That's all y'all want to do is have excuse after excuse for a reason why you're acting out of control. Damn wild animals. God, we ain't even got our food yet. I'm hungry as hell. And don't touch my appetizer when it comes out. I'm not sharing it. Let me ask you. You want a man that's just going to take some shit like that from another nigga? I want a man that knows how to control his emotions. I want a man that knows how to be a gentleman. You want me? <laughs> not I from mean, what I can see. My name's not Thug Love. Not from what hey, I man, can listen, see. Hey man, listen, I'm trying my best to just get over this and go through this date, man, but you again. keep shooting shots at me, bro. We're not gonna do it again. Control it. I'm not the nigga to fuck with. Even like thinking Some through this. Stab the steroids. this <laughs> Oh my God. Well, that give you attitude problems, huh? You take steroids and it fuck with your mind? He does not on steroids. Oh, I'm sorry. I, just, I thought he was. I'm Stop. Sorry. I apologize. You know what? I apologize. 
Invisalign. That's what it is. Invisalign. Cocaine. That's why he's so angry. You guys. I get it. I didn't know. I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Actually, I'm, I'm I could just do this for the next hour no, and I'm not. I can just okay. actually Uber Eats or something. No, 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 no I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to leave. No, yeah. I'll get it together for you. I do not want to get my heart broken again. I just want to be happy and in love and on an island somewhere sipping mojitos. Shut it. Okay. Keep fucking playing with me. Shut up or I'll call your ex and drop the pin. Wow, oh, that would be that? fucking lovely. I'll drop the location. How would you do that? Exactly. <laughs> That's just taking it too far. Okay, you know what? Let me chill. You're gonna need her anyway after the day. So. Let me chill. Let okay. me chill. Relax. Now, after this week, it was a long past couple days. All we went through with Chick Dare. I have a couple questions for y'all. And I wanna know what y'all think. I wanted to hear your honest opinions. Okay. I'm ready. How did you feel when he kissed me? Hmm. I know how I feel. First of all, you licked my face, so stop it. Okay. Ooh! Oh, wow! Oh, wow. He ate my face. Damn pit bull. Honestly, um, I thought it was funny. You know, at first when she was like dairy to kiss him, I'm like, damn, okay, well, I got to see him. Did you think I was gonna it. kiss him? Uh, yeah, I kind of did. You know, I know y'all been kind of vibing. That's okay. You know, you sometimes you need time to figure out what you really need. And so I was like, okay. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, I knew this nigga was a clown. What was your dare again? Oh, I, oh, I, I remember kiss. having a seizure inside the pussy, right? Oh, my is, is God. Is that what it was? Oh, yeah. You were taking all of that you know. shit there? Yeah, that was wet. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the clown. It was, she joined the fucking circus. Hey, it was supposed to be funny. I think the kids weren't supposed to be. Oh. Well, at least I But got it to was. You. I was over there being like, this nigga lit. Why did he lick your face? What the fuck? I bro? still <laughs> did it. Did you? We kind of going back and forth. That's cool. Are y'all done? No, I'm not done because I don't. How the fuck he seen called me a thug and you you fall in the house on the first day? Hands up, don't chill. The first day, bro. He saw a magic mic came at me. That's all it takes. Don't do it! Oh, he has a temper, and I don't want things to get out of control. How could you be here hey. for me? Clearly you was here for a dude, because you fighting dudes in the house for the first day. For a dude? You feel what me? type of shit is that? You wasn't fighting? Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest, I allow my anger, which is something that I strive so hard to suppress. I allow it to get the best of me. Thug Love is 25, but he may still be stuck at 19. You guys are making this decision way more stressful than it needs to be. You're making it to the point where, at this point, y'all can both go. You need a boyfriend, baby. Let's she needs a man. Not a boyfriend. She needs a man. Thank you. I think I'm gonna win this thing. Yeah. I think I'm gonna win. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. Don't touch my appetizer. I was trying to help you. It looks good. I was trying to help out. <laughs> I do not want it. I'm here to see how it all plays out, man. I just do know that I want B. I love B. I care about B a lot. And I would really love to just have that genuine chance to just be with her. I make me lose my damn appetite. Literally arguing the last day. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. I'm sorry. You still have not realized that this is about me. Me finding love, me finding boyfriend, me finding happiness. How do you think I'm gonna find that in the middle of chaos? I just feel as though I'm willing to do that for you. I'm willing to argue and fight for you, no matter what it takes. Maybe I'm wrong for this. I'm, maybe I'm wrong. And I do apologize for it. I really do. But I just want to show you how serious I am. That's all. <laughs> I'm not trying to fight. Right? Yeah. I can't. I believe you worth fighting for. And I can't let nobody talk to me crazy. And they trying to fight for you, too. You got to understand. I well, try. I can say this at this point. Because it is ultimately your decision. It doesn't matter how hard we go or what we choose to do. I just hope that you do make the best decision, whether it's him or whether it's me. At this point, I built such a strong bond with both of them for different reasons. I'm stressed, but I'm also happy because I know I'm gonna really get to be with one of these great guys. Why do you really think I should choose you? This is your last chance to let me know if I'm making the right decision. Then get to it quick, because my food is getting cold. I'm hungry. Mm. Y'all done fought for 30 minutes. Now. Well, I honestly feel like he's not enough man for you. You need someone that can compliment you, you know? I don't feel like you need someone you gotta worry about getting in trouble. I don't feel like you need someone that'll come out and try to fight at dinner. I know how to act. I came out here, I wanted to pull your chair up. 
I wanted to help you out. I fucked up with the straw, but I wanted to help you out. I want to show you I'm here for you. I've been real with you. I ain't lied to you about nothing. I ain't lied to you and told you I don't have not a single ex. What thug you know that don't have bitches? Which one you know? I don't know none. I used to be in the streets. That's true. Yeah, so I'm not here to bullshit with you. I am told you about my past. I am told you what I'm here for. What with you? Am I going to find out later? I don't want to find out later. I need to know now before it's too late. I really don't know what else I can tell you. OK, OK, enough. Save me a carrot. Why should I choose you? This is your last chance to let me know if I'm making the right decision. OK, first and foremost, I'm mysterious for a reason. You want to know why I'm mysterious? And why I always keep my shell up and my guard up and I don't let nobody in? It's because I've been through a lot. And I've been hurt by a lot of people. And every time I allow myself to get involved with someone, they always disappoint me. So I always felt as though it would be best for me to just keep myself within my shell because no one could get close enough to hurt me. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you say to offend me. It doesn't matter, you know? But I'm willing to do that with you. I'm willing to open up and allow you to see who I really am. Mm. I'm yeah. a great guy. I'm funny. I'm not some thug. I'm not some hardcore dude. I made some choices in my life that, you know, unfortunately I had to pay the consequences for. Thug Love is sweet. He has depth to him. He's been through a lot, so he could show me a lot. I feel like the most hurt people have the most love to give. You know, I'm not going to use you, for example. I'm not trying to throw any shots, but people like him are always going to look at me like I'm some bad guy. Yeah. Because they don't see the, the potential that I have in me to do better today. Right. They don't see my past. And, you know, hopefully I'm hoping that you can see outside of that. And if there's anything I can do to open up to you more, I'm willing to do it. That's what I need. I need you I'm, I'm to, to let that. me in. I feel like there's a wall built. And it is and a wall. Take down that wall, Donald Trump. All that noise. Damn it. Clickety clack clack. Give us a second. Yeah. It's hard to listen to. That's the kind of man shit. you want, huh? Clacking plates while you're eating. But anyway, I want that no throwing shots. I'm up. I'll get back to the story. Yeah. I just want to be the best man I can be for you. I don't care what nobody else has to say about me. Call me thug, mm -hmm. killer, stupid. I say I'd never be anything. That's fine. I've been hearing that my whole life. But I'm not going to allow that to stop me from fighting for your love. And if you can see through that and then give me a chance to open up to you, I promise you it will be worth your time. At this point, I really feel like I have two boyfriends. Like, I'm in a relationship with both of them, and that's just not fair. I just need a gentleman, okay? I've been gotcha. trying to tell you, you need me. My name ain't Thug. Stop. Thug. I thought, we, what are we doing? I'm just talking. You know what, since y'all want to act crazy, fuck it. I'm not eating cute no more. I'm going to just eat my damn food. Y'all want to act like animals? Have this nice dinner, because y'all don't know how to treat me. No, let's talk. And don't eat all them damn carrots. I don't know how to treat you. I don't know how to treat you. Yeah. Thank you. I like you coming in, right? It's real good. Want the rest of it? Yes. At this point, I'm Bugs Bunny. Give me some more. You can have Put as many as you want. Nah, here's, here's the biggest one. Thank you. Yeah. I'm not, I don't know how you are with salad. I don't know if you like salad or not, but, uh, you just save me a little bit. Okay, I'll do that for you. Because you know what they say about a man? What's that? That saved his last bite. That means he really loved her. I mean, so I eat it all too. the way to the last bite. I got you. <laughs> so, you know, um, I've been going back and forth hmm? about telling you this. Uh, it's kind of awkward, you know, in front of uh, the but You can uh, say it. You know, we talked about uh, my poetry and all that type of stuff. You kind of inspired me. And um, since I've been in this house, I wrote a poem. And for me, what? Well, I was inspired by you. Oh my gosh, what's okay? Let me hear it. Wanna hear it? Yes, <clears throat> I gotta make sure there's no food in my mouth. It's called Skin Deep. <clears throat> he over here sitting up here like he fucking Langston Hughes or somebody. Skin Deep. When she enters, she's stunning, so beautiful, so exotic. Oh god, as she Scare walks, me. she seems to float. Her very essence, so erotic. For real? The, epi the epitome of paradise wrapped up in the human body. No man can look away once her beauty has been spotted. Of this she is well aware. She can sense them as they stare. As they gaze condescendingly from her shoulders to her derriere. Am I thick? Ooh, wait. See, I love her skin, but even more than that, I love what lies beneath. I'm 
attracted to her intelligence and turned on by the way she speaks. I love that she's all mine and I'm all hers when we in the sheets and when we're dining on her, her feet. I love to watch her talk and the way her lips slide perfectly over her teeth. Sitting here having to listen to Invisalign's poetry, it was, it was corny as hell, I won't lie. Then she looks and she says to me, I know what you love, but... Hurry up, this long ass poem. I'm just saying I'm beautiful, I'm nigga, fine. damn. I'm almost done with my food. I love it, but okay, stop. All right, okay. Fine. Well, I mean, I said it would be awkward. Okay, you. okay, just well, anyway, get to the end. Anyway. I think she liked the poem. I think it was kind of awkward, you know, hearing it in front of him, and she probably wanted to speed it up. Just skip to the last line. I am thankful for her, and she is thankful for me. I thank God because before her, I had no proof that beauty was more than skin deep. That's cool. I can recite the rest for her later. That was really sweet. And long as shit. That was really sweet. Long as hell. <laughs> Invisalign wrote me a poem. It was so beautiful. It was long as fuck. At this point, it was a song, <laughs> an essay, Easter speech, but it was sweet. That was you know so what? beautiful. Thank you. That's for you. I'm not no poet, man. I'm not all this stuff that people say. I'm, not, I'm a dude that come from the streets, man. I had a real, a real tough life. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could sit down and write something as beautiful as he just wrote for you. I mean, it actually sounds like it came from a fucking movie. I swear to God, I've heard that shit before somewhere. Stop. It sounds very familiar. What, what, maybe was it Denzel? I don't know, some movie. But it was, it was nice, though. It was a nice little, you know, or whatever, rewrite. But uh, I'm a street dude, man, and I, I don't know how to be the sweetest dude in the world. I don't know how to be the best man in the world, man, but I do strive to figure it out. And the only way I can figure that out is if I got with you and you help me. It's going to take for you to help me grow as a man, to show me how to love you. If you don't show me, how would I know? I'm willing to do that. I want to know everything about you, your favorite color. Where do you want to go? You know, mm -hmm. everything. I want to know, like, all the simple things about you, you know? Other than the fact that you're so more. Everybody knows that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I don't want just to go off of that. I want to know everything about you that people don't know, that you know right, that other right, people know. Right, right, And me being this street dude, it's like, it's just hard for me sometimes to just be Look a gentleman. At me it's just hard. I know, I know, but it's just, I guess I get beside myself in time. I love the fact that he has a past because he's been through some shit. He's so deep and in touch with his emotions. I really would love a genuine chance to just win your heart. Maybe you can show me how men supposed to treat women since everybody feels like I'm this hardcore yeah. thug and I don't know how to treat women. As of today, I want you to be my teacher because I want to learn everything about you. I want you to leave out no details. Okay. Because we're not doing the mysterious thing. I know, no we're going to be honest. I'm going to be all the way up front and honest with you. And everything Walls that you down. Done, walls it down. Oh, shit, they're going Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. <laughs> you know? And I just hope that maybe I can be the man that steals your heart, make you happy, and give you beautiful, beautiful babies. And I just thank you so much for giving the opportunity to gain your heart. Oh. I really do. Thank you, baby. It's okay. Thank you. Damn it. Give I him know. some plasticware, please. Let me tell you something. Tell me, what, tell me something. Tell me something. Hey, look, I want tell you a thug now. I've been one. That's the only thing you got going for yourself. Guess what? And you I'm a fake I'm more than a thug. thug show them I'm a fake thug. Yeah. Fake show, them, show them I'm a fake thug. Bro, I'm about to beat show your me. ass like I beat show your me. boy. I'm making I'm about to beat his ass in front of you. Huh? You want me to beat your ass in front of you? I ain't running from you, bro. Use your words. I ain't running from you, dog. I like fucked up, dog. I'll fuck you. I'll beat the shit out of you right now, Do it. Okay. You got like fucked up, man. Do it. Instead of talking, do it. man. I toss your ass over there. You steady talking. Bust a move, man. Bust a fucking move, I beat them man. goddamn braids. Bust, bust a fucking nigga. move, Pop. Hey, when I get done with this shit, you're going to have a little nigga. mini ass out for him. Fuck my own shit. I'll beat you back down with that, man. I'll break your ass down. I'll break your big ass down. Bust a move. Show me how little I am. Show me how little I am. I'm trying not to beat your big ass down. I'm trying not to beat your little thug ass now. Oh, fuck. I already beat one nigga's ass in this house already, nigga. I ain't that nigga. I'm not that nigga. I'll fuck your shit up, nigga. I'm not that nigga. It was such a disaster. Last time I went through heartbreak, I made a fuckboy video. I'm not that nigga. 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 I'm public place, a nice public place, and this is the last time I'm gonna be with you two together. Get it together. Show me I'm that nigga. I'll fuck your shit up, no for it, nigga. You guys, hello. What fuck the fuck? Little fuck? bitch ass, little skinny He's ass, little pussy. nigga, fuck man. I'll shit out you, nigga. Do it, nigga. You started talking. Okay. You the big man, nigga. Bust a move, nigga. You guys, it took so long for them to stop arguing, I literally almost walked out and left. It was almost like they didn't even give a fuck. It got pretty heated, you know, and we was in a public place, and I gave no fucks 
If you guys cannot stop, I will fucking leave. Both of you guys can go home. I've been cool this whole Don't time. Don't be so fucking embarrassed. This nigga stood up like he gonna do something. Shh, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Better tell this nigga shut Yo, up. Sh okay, stop. I'm through, man. Fuck up, stop. I'm through, baby, I'm through. You need to learn how to control yourself. This is fucking embarrassing. Oh my God, we could have did this at the house. Why are we here? I am so frazzled. I damn near don't even know who I'm gonna choose because I'm so torn. I have one name in my mind and one name in my heart. Then it switches. At this point, like, did I even make the right decision with the final two? What do you mean? Yes, of course what you do you did. mean? What? what the fuck do you think I mean? We was having a good conversation. We was talking. At this point, Pete Trump can come back. No, 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 no. Why would you don't bring Pete Trump back? No, man. seriously. You got one. We, we, we'll get he would have never done this. Magic Mike would have never done this. Well, we can say what we want. You all to need to learn how to respect me. I think I kind of made another ass out of myself. We'll see how, how far the ripple goes. I have to really bring my game, bring my A game, and step it up. How would you feel if I chose him, but I was really happy? Then I would just have to let you be happy. And you? How would you feel if I chose him over you, but I was truly happy? Um. Well, first I'd probably be heartbroken, you know. And after that. I'd be happy that you found happiness, but I'm going to feel it when you do it, you know? You choose him over me, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I really thought we had a connection, you know? We connected on a lot of stuff. We talked about a lot of stuff. And you say you don't really know him like that. He's mysterious, mm -hmm. he's just that. So I'm like, if you choose somebody you don't really know, and I'd have been straight with you from the beginning, I'd have been real, we've been talking about all types of subjects, then, yeah, I feel kind of... But that's why I want him around longer, because I want to get to know him more and reasons why I want you around longer because I feel like you're loyal and I feel like you haven't lied to me since you've been here. And we have such strong chemistry. I know what I need to do. I need to get them one-on-one. -on -one. Before we finish our food and get up and leave the restaurant, I do want to talk to you guys both one-on-one -on -one so we can have a long time at the table without the other one interrupting okay. or cussing. Or dropping silverware everywhere. I can do Stop it. Okay. So, Thug Love, I'm gonna excuse you. Okay, baby. One on one with him. That's and I'll fine. talk to you in a minute. Okay, that's fine. See you. <clears throat> now that we got that out of the way. No. When B Simone sent me away to spend some quality time with Invisalign, I was kind of nervous because I didn't know what he was gonna say and if he was gonna be able to intrigue or entrance her. Why you gotta be so mean to him? What do you mean? It's, he just tried to fight me and I'm being mean to him. Is it about him? No, exactly. No, fuck me, it's about you. So act like it, nigga. That's why I'm glad I got you here alone, shit. As usual, when me and Invisalign have our alone time, it's something about him that just draws me closer to him every time we talk. I don't like to share. What nigga you don't like to share? None. I've been sharing your ass since I got here. <laughs> For real. When I got here, I'm like, okay, you know what? I looked around at the niggas like, okay, all right. So I got like, how many weeks before she be my girlfriend? So you were that confident when you walked in? I felt like if you could see me for me, yeah, I was. Cause I saw a lot of the niggas in me. I just felt like they wanted. it. One of the main things I wanted B Simone to know about me when I did have my long time with her is that I was here for her. I was here for the right reasons. My thing is, I'm so confused, like... What'd you get confused with? I just wasn't the real, I want love, and between you two, I don't know who I want to stay in my damn house. Who I want to, it's baggage with both of y'all. It's issues with both of y'all, so I just have to figure out what I want. Well, but you tell me one last time, now that he's gone, and we have no distractions, okay. why should I send him home and keep you here? I said when we got here, and I was saying, you need a man that'll compliment you. You don't need a guy you gotta take care of and show everything. I don't think so. I think they can get tiring real quick. You know, I feel like you need somebody that's gonna bring something to the table when they get there. Okay. They can show you something that I know what to do before you show them. And I feel like that's what I am for you. And what about your crazy ass ex? He literally used to wake up just to watch you sleep. He used to come home early just to watch you eat. Like, <sighs> why do you want me to leave you alone? I'm not dealing with that. I'm telling you, I'm not dealing with you, that. You never had to. I should have. Wait, you should have. It said, Brittany, do not call. You made me call. And guess what? We can put her right back in the box. She don't know where I stay. She don't. I'm, I blocked her soon. And if I start posting phone. you, 
on social media. I'm gonna look good on your page. <laughs> is that what this is about? But it's something about Invisalign that I cannot quite put my finger on. What is gonna be your negative? No, we gonna look good. You said if you start posting me, I'm gonna look good on your page. Like, what, I, what, what it gotta do with her? I don't want no drama with her. I can't fight. <laughs> I'm no, not gonna be fighting no bitches over you. Why the hell would I let a bitch fight you? All right. That's crazy. If you're my queen, no, ain't nobody gonna get close to you. I've never been in a fight before. You don't have to get she in a fight. She scared me. She's not, I told Terror. you, she's not <laughs> fighting crazy. She's just crazy crazy. Like, she's obsessed crazy. If like, she's driving all... past your house crazy, she's fighting crazy. She's driving past my old house crazy. Mm -hmm. you, gotta, you keep saying that. You gotta remember that. Okay. I don't know where I stay. My biggest concern with you is, and be honest, mm -hmm. because our chemistry is so great and so perfect, it's like, what the fuck is the problem? You're too good to be true. There's always a problem. Nobody's perfect. Do you, it's something like, nigga, you, okay. are you a cheater? Do you, are you a womanizer? Do you got shitty draws? Okay, well, let me say this. Without Beijing, are you bald? Let me say Is this. that a toupee? Is your dick little? Oh. Let me say Are this. you opposed to getting your teeth fixed? fantasy uh, she has about me having this big huge secret because I'm too good to be true and all this crazy stuff is just wow what is it you on steroids it's something that's wrong because you're too oh he's loyal oh he's handsome oh he's an athlete and then you turn around and be fucking crazy as crazy I'm gonna get you already saw that when I was in the house and I felt disrespected by uh, the white boy Magic Mike or whatever. That was the, that's the craziest I can ever get. And I feel like that was out of character. I ain't been in a fight in five, six, I don't know, three, four years probably. You know what I'm saying? But when you say, I'm, first of all, that's a big compliment, you know? Cause that's what I heard when you were saying. You were saying a lot of stuff, taking a lot of jabs. But I'm like, oh, I ain't none of that. So it's a compliment. And I feel like if you know that our chemistry is this strong, if you know we bob the way but we the do. the biggest issue that I'm having is I don't know any of your flaws. Besides, you could possibly be a fighter. Uh, my flaws. I think B. Simone is probably worried about me being able to be, control my anger now, because uh, it's the second time. I feel like everybody's a work in progress, and I'm yeah. not making this about everybody, this is about me, I know. But, yeah, I got flaws, of course I do. I'm, shit, Invisalign, my teeth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I like flaws. them though. Oh, good, I'm glad. I got but, a gap too. I'm twins. <laughs> We ain't twins. Why ain't that big? Yeah. If I choose you to be my boyfriend and it's some off the wall shit that I found out later, I'm not gonna like that. I'm not gonna fuck with that. I need to know now. I need to know who you are now. How many kids do you want? Um, two, three, maybe. <laughs> I want eight. Come here. I want eight kids. Eight? Eight. Like naturally? What do you mean naturally? I mean like you want to birth eight kids. You want to give birth eight times? I could have eight naturally and then we can adopt some to help help babies oh. that don't have kids. To eight kids? I thought you yeah. might have wanted two or three, no. adopt some, help some other, get some orphans or something. What do you think? I'm going to look crazy? We will look crazy. That's fine. We could be, what? What is it? Jane, Jane and Kate, Josh and Kate plus eight. I want eight kids. Okay. And if my titties start sagging, fix them. Don't be gone after the third and the fourth and the fifth. Tell me when you're ready to practice. Okay. <laughs> Invisalign really knows how to romance a woman. Anyway, um, yeah, I just. Hey, know. hey, 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 I'm back. How are you? Good. You're not interrupting nothing. That's fine. That's not fine. at all. It's cool, baby. I don't know. Shit. It's cool. Can we finish talking later? Okay, we'll finish no. talking later. Yeah. Let me talk to him for a second. All right. I'll be completely fine with it. I'm not uncomfortable. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Anything How you, you talk doing? About? I'm good. I just want to get my long time with you. Yeah, a long time is important. Yeah, it is. Especially with you being so, you know, mm -hmm. such a mystery guy. Now I'm ready to have a long time with Thug Love. Well, hopefully we can solve that mystery right now. <laughs> I got you by myself. I'm going to push this to the side, and I'm going to tend to you. I'm not going to ask you anything I want. You ask me you anything gotta you want. you got to be honest. 100%. Doug Love is just so sweet. 
I could tell when he looks in my eyes, he's really there for me. He cares about me so much, but he has got to let that wall down. I need to dig deeper and find out who he really is. Once again, I'm gonna ask you while he's away so you can just look at me, tell me the truth, fuck him right now. It's about us. Why should you be my boyfriend? You've never had a girlfriend, so why should I choose you? This was the time to open up and finally be the person that she needed me to be. When I first laid eyes on you, I had no idea I would make it this far, or even this close to your heart. Me either. You know, because I came in, I, I came out of, you know, joking and jiving, I wasn't dancing, I wasn't moonwalking. I came out between your eyes, you asked me questions, and I gave you the real me. Mm -hmm. Once I made it to the house, I continued to give you the real me. Mm -hmm. And as I move forward with you, I plan to continue to give you the real me. Now, there may be some things I may have left out as far as, you know, with you, me being this mystery person. And I want to solve that mystery just by letting you know that I've had relationships in the past before that really, really damaged me a lot. Mm -hmm. And I've kind of been scared to just get back in a relationship with anybody due to the fact that, you know, that was a very traumatic event for me. Is he going to really be able to show me a lot of love because he's been so hurt in his past? I think he doesn't really trust women. I do have concerns with you as far as like, you know, some, some stuff about your past that I don't want to come up and mm -hmm. bite me in the ass because that sticks with you for the rest of your life, it you know? Does. You really being able to fully love me and trust me because of your past trauma, you know? Mm -hmm. Like not being able to open up to people or let the wall down. I know we're working towards that, but I wanna make sure we reach that point. As long as you allow me to get into your heart and I know that we want the same thing, we have a common, we have a common interest, then I would have absolutely no problem opening up to you. It's just that I don't wanna open up to you and it's a repeat and thing for home. me, you know? Yeah. But at this point, I care about you enough to say that I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be happy seeing you with whoever you choose to be with, but I would be happy knowing that you're happy. Right, right, you right, know? right. Of course, I want you to be happy with me, but you're, you're beautiful. You're so sweet, you're though, sweet. Thug. You're such a sweet thug. So, I have a question. What's your question? And be real. I will. How many kids you want? I want a whole house. Really? I'm so serious. Like, that is an honest answer. I want a whole house of kids. Like, eight? What if we have eight girls? You want eight baby girls? I don't we're just gonna have oh, it's about <laughs> Ain't of me running around, baby girl. Jesus Christ. Mommy, daddy. Oh my God. <laughs> I gotta you just gotta give me one. If you give me one son, I'm happy. You can okay. have a house full of girls. I'll keep trying until we get a son. How about that? I'm good with that. I told you we can have a football team. Deal. You're gonna call them the beast of my Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him I want eight kids. What does he say? He gonna give me a whole zoo, a whole farm. He couldn't wait to say he was gonna give me as many kids as I want. Hey, probably more. My mama got <laughs> six. All the guys, I think I got, what, maybe 15 brothers and sisters? What? Mm -hmm. Not the same mama, same daddy. Six on one side, four on the other side. Dang, so your mama was like me. She had a whole bunch of niggas. Mm -hmm. She was like, I just want kids. Pop them out, <laughs> popping them out left and right. Yes, okay, so eight kids. Eight kids sounds good to me. Perfect. And if my titties start sagging and I have a big old stomach, you're going to pay for the tummy tuck and the boo job. You don't have to do that. I'm, I'm going to love you the same way. He said he would still love my body the way it is, no matter what I look like. Oh, my God. No. But if you want to do that, I pay for it. OK. But you can walk around the house and look any kind of way you want. You Hell my baby. Hell no. You my I need baby. to look fine. You're going to look fine to me. I love you and accept you for who if you are. If my titties is to my knees looking like cow udders, yeah, I'd be on my knees second titties then. <laughs> you know, I guess this is how it's gonna have to be. He just knows what to tell a woman. Oh, hey, yeah. Hi. What up, what up, what up? How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Y'all okay? Uh, yeah. You beat her up, did you? Mm, you good, brother. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We good now, we good now. All right, I just don't know which direction my heart is going in at this moment. All right, got to spend one-on-one -on -one time with both of my babies. <laughs> it was wonderful. Y'all are both my babies, honestly. I don't know. What I want right now, this is gonna be like a very hard decision because it's pros and cons to everything, but yeah. I'm just trying to figure out who will be the best guy for me. So let's finish our food and get the fuck up out of here so I can lay down and figure some things out. Good morning, y'all. This will be the last time you will be eating dinner with me yeah. because I will see y'all at eliminations. Where I will kick my boyfriend. And it's one of you. Can't wait. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, that was good. See you when you get home, baby. Sorry. 
Now we're at elimination and I have to choose one. I hope I make the right decision. I'm just gonna follow my heart. I'm just gonna follow my heart and I hope it's right. So I'm getting dressed, make sure I'ma look good, make sure I'ma look fly, make sure I do whatever I gotta do to make sure I can impress her all the way around the board because this is the last chance that I have to make sure that I win my baby's heart. I'm just excited, like I'm just excited to see what's to come. It's been a lot, like everything from the knocker ball to the fighting to, you know, us kissing and then my ex and me thinking that she, I'm gone, I'm out of here. I don't know, maybe it ain't gonna go out, thank you. So here it is, the final eliminations. <sighs> here we go, final elimination. My nerves are through the roof. If she don't pick me, then I did all this shit for nothing. I'm walking up to these guys, and this is the hardest walk up I have had to do in my life. I look across the room, I see B. Simone looking as beautiful as anything this world could ever create. I mean, she was looking like a pure queen. Wow. Hi, guys. Hey. Good, man. Good to see you. I really hope Beast in the Mall knows that I care about her. That I really want to be with her. At this particular moment, only thing I can do now is just sit back and just await her, await her decision. We are down to the final two, and after tonight, I will no longer be that single girl on Instagram <laughs> yelling to the top of the mountains that she wants a boyfriend because one of you will be my boyfriend. At the end of the day, I have to live with this decision. I have to do what's right for me. I have to put myself first. So today was a great day. Um, dinner was actually really nice until I started acting crazy. I just couldn't get it together. No matter how much I told y'all to calm down, it was like an issue, which kind of both gave you guys negative points in my eyes. I was like, we got this far to just take five steps backwards. Both of you guys need to learn how to control your anger. But when I had my one-on-one -on -one time, I really felt like, Doug Love, you opened up to me. I was like, I am getting to him. Like, we're getting closer. I've had relationships in the past before that really, really damaged me a lot. Mm -hmm. And I've kind of been scared to just get back in a relationship with anybody due to the fact that, you know, that was a very traumatic event for me. He must really like a bitch, cause you were really, you know, opening up and your wall was coming down and I loved that. Like, I felt like it gave me hope that I could really get close to you. Like, wow, like maybe we really can have that bond, you know? Yeah. But I don't know yet. And then with you, Invisalign, um, when we had our one-on-one, -on -one, we have great chemistry, which I love. We've had chemistry since day one, damn near, from out on the balcony when we had our talk and our first kiss, which was just so natural to me. All right, you're messing up my lipstick. But my main concern with you is, besides the crazy ex that you say isn't gonna be a problem, I just feel like with you, it's too good to be true. Like, there has to be a problem. With you, it's almost like, too good to be true. And with you, it's like, do I really want to take that risk of putting my all into something and you not opening up to me eventually? Why do you feel like it's too good to be true? It's important that she knows she, if she picks me, that it's not gonna be a mistake. She's not gonna regret it. And that I'm probably gonna make her the happiest person in the world. I don't know, I just feel like there has to be 
something wrong and I don't want to find that out when it's too late. I found out a lot of Thug Love's flaws and I feel like I haven't found your flaws yet so so fuck both of you guys are really special to me and really 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 hold like a dear place in my heart I have grown to have love for both of you actually but unfortunately I have to choose one of you to be my boyfriend the fact that I'm still here now shows that I put forth more than enough effort to win Simone's heart before I choose my boyfriend I would like each of you to come up and tell me one last time why you feel like you would be a good match for me I'm ready she tells us flat out like I'm gonna give you guys one more opportunity to show me why I should pick you to be my boyfriend, my husband, and my future king. Thug Love. I just told God, just give me the give me the words to say to her right now to convince her that I could be the man for her, and I just let my mind go. You know, when I first met you, I really didn't think I would make it this far. You know, I thought she was going to be like the rest of the world and look at this whole thug persona and, you know, make this perception about me that, you know, the world commonly makes about me. And the fact that you gave me a chance to show you that I could be more than just some thug or some gangster, whatever the world makes about me be, it made me feel special. Like you really cared. And I guess I just wanted to just find a way to just open up to you, even though that's always been a hard thing for me to do. I just wanted to find a way to do that for you. And I'm sorry it took so long for me to do it, but... I've been hurt so many times in my life. I just, want, I just didn't want this to be one of those times where I allowed that to happen again. When I told myself that I would never allow it to happen again because it's a reoccurring thing in my life. And I just don't want it to happen to me again. And I don't want to be the one that causes you any pain as well. But you give it more time, I promise you I will continue to open up to you and give you as much love as I can. I promise you I can be a great guy. I can be a great guy if I was just, just given the opportunity to. And most times I'm never given that chance. You know, so if you were to pick me to be your man, then I would go across the seas and back to make sure I can make you happy. I gave it to her raw. You're making this so hard. <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to make you cry. It's just a mess of your makeup. But I do want you to make the best choice for you. Hopefully that's me. But if it's not, then I just want to see you happy. Okay. Thank you. I think thug love is definitely a fraud. I think all this shit about, you know, not having any exes whatsoever and being so guarded because everybody in the world hurt you and, you know, boo hoo hoo, all that shit. Like, man, listen, you grown as fuck now, man. Invisalign. Uh, where do I start? Um, let me just say that the things we talked about, the connection we felt was real. The troops I told you were real. Um, all, all the hoops I've jumped through for you, I have never jumped through for anybody. I don't know if I've ever wanted anything more than I want this. From physically, going out, beating each other up in them damn balls. <laughs> From, you know, uh, me just opening up, even in front of this guy, you know, telling you to pull on my rope for you. Uh, I don't know if I've been this vulnerable. I don't know the last time I felt like this. Uh, you know, I just feel like you should pick me because I will not fuck this up. Whatever you know, fallacy you have in your head about whatever mysterious problem may be lying somewhere. You found the problem. You called my ex. You saw what it was. I told you about it. And you don't think she's going to be an issue? I do not think she'll be an issue. And I was completely open with you about that. Anything you saw. Even though me. I'm a public figure and I post where I'm at all the time, I have my schedule online, you know she's going to be able to see that type of stuff. Yeah, but the only thing she's ever worried about was me. And that's why I blocked her. 
That's why she can't contact me. That's why she don't know how to stay. That's why I'm here. I definitely feel like I could be, you know, a compliment to her. Uh, no matter where she's at in the public, I in private. Um, wherever we are, I think uh, we complement each other well. Now I'm here, I'm jumping through hoops. I'm doing everything I can to show you that I want this. I'm an old fashioned man, no matter how, what you think about me, how I look, maybe that's why I'm a perfect fit for you. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to go all alone. I don't think nobody does. Okay. You know, with Invisalign taking shots at my prison record, you know, it's not nothing new, but it still opens up the same wound every time I hear it because people are always so quick to just judge me based off of my own, my past mistakes. I really have a lot of love for each of you and I don't want to see either one of you leave, honestly. I wish we had more time, but unfortunately we don't. As y'all know, I have been literally single for seven years. Seven years single, no relationship, no commitment to any man. So it's like when you go from being single for that long to jumping into a relationship, you want to make sure you're with the right person. And you're not wasting time. I'm too old to be wasting time. Like at this point, I'm dating to marry. I want to date somebody that can be a potential husband. <sighs> Whoever I do not choose tonight, I just really hope that we can remain friends and there are no hard feelings and that you just still love me for me. I just really hope I make the right decision. This is not the time to fumble the ball. Person that I call up will be my boyfriend. If B. Simone chooses me, oh man, the wind blowing and the sun out and the birds chirping and all that good shit. I gave it to a real and I was just hoping that, you know, everything that comes out of my mouth is gonna just penetrate her heart and allow her myself to let her in my life into my world something that I keep so private and so discreet because of things like this because people hurt me because people always use these things as a way to get over me I feel bad for him. I feel bad. I feel bad for him. My emotions are attached to Thug Love. Even as just a friend, somebody I'm not going to be with, I care about him. And when I saw him hurting like that, it really just broke me down. I'm happy you made the right choice.
It was such a bittersweet moment. I was so happy that I had my boyfriend standing right there, but so hurt that I hurt Thug Love. Thug Love. You okay? Yes. Just give me a second. Just give me a minute, babe. Hey, brother, man. Congratulations, man. We found you a queen. You have a queen. that. Because of you, because of you, I'll never love another woman again. Oh my God. You broke my heart the way no one's ever oh broke my heart before. I don't care about that. Fuck love. That's what you just did to me, okay? I opened up to you. You begged me to open up to you, and I did that. I did exactly what you wanted me to do. And when I did it, you broke my heart. And this is why I'm a mysterious person. For that, I thank you. And every woman in the world can thank you for not allowing me to love you from this day forward. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry for you, and I'm happy for you, brother. I hope y'all enjoy y'all life. When I begged Thug Love to walk back, and he walked back to me and looked me in my eyes and started telling me how he would never love again because of me, the hurt I caused him, I felt so bad. Like, I just opened up all his old wounds just to slam the door in his face, and he does not deserve that. He's such a good guy. <laughs> a lot of times your heart will lead you in the wrong direction, but most times, in most cases, it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that she went with her heart on this one, I have to respect it. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. You can't forget that. <laughs> chose is Invisalign and at the end of the day I am happy with my decision it felt right it felt like that was the man I'm supposed to be with Invisalign is my boyfriend I'm so happy to be your boyfriend I feel deep down in my heart that my man is in here I got you I'm here anyway. How you doing, Queen? Huh? You look good. You just did 50 push-ups? 55. 20. On the spot. B. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven. Oh! <laughs> You can lay back if you want. No, I'm Look, comfortable. Let's lay back and talk. You know what I'm <laughs> like? Say something. Tell me something good. I love you. Marry me. Impregnate me. Oh my God. I love you, baby. Stay back, bitches. And now the show is over now.